So today I want to talk about um, sequence similarity searching, and in particular, a program called BLAST, the basic local alignment search tool. And the question that we're trying to answer with this algorithm is how do we rapidly search through a large database of known sequences to find a match between a query sequence, for example, a genome that we've assembled, and all of the things that we know about that people have sequenced previously. This is, um, it's an important concept, and it's a, actually quite a difficult problem because, of course, it scales with the length of the sequence that you're searching and with the size of the database that you're searching against. And so it actually becomes computationally quite challenging to look through databases of sequences um, fast and get results that are meaningful. And to make things harder, we're not necessarily looking for exact matches. So when you think about computer science and searching databases, normally what you're thinking about is finding, for example, a word in a piece of text, and you're looking for exactly that word. In this case, we're actually trying to identify regions that may be an unknown length, that may be 20%, 30%, 40%, 50% identical. We don't really know. And we're trying to provide some um, confidence back to our users to say, the two sequences, the sequence that you've given me and the one that I'm giving you back, are similar, and we believe that they're similar at this level of confidence. So the simple solution is basically to use some heuristics to make the search go faster, of course. And there's a, a quite a, a simple assumption, which is that if I'm looking for some sequence, so let's say I've got a DNA sequence, here's like 10 letters, and I've got another DNA sequence, and here's my same query sequence, and here's a different match to it. Now, in the first case, if I look at the matches and the mismatches, I have a mismatch, a mismatch, a mismatch, and then I have a series of consecutive matches, right? And then two mismatches. In the second case, I have a match, a mismatch, a match, a mismatch, a match, a mismatch, a match, a mismatch, a match, and a mismatch. So in both cases, I have five out of 10 that are the same, yeah? But from a, an evolutionary point of view, from a biological point of view, from a, a DNA sequence point of view, we would say that this match is probably more important than the match over here. And the reason that we would say this is that if we think that these two sequences come from the same place, then I could actually go from the top sequence to the bottom sequence with basically two changes. All I've got to do is change these three letters, the CGA, to these three letters. That's one change. And I've got to change the TC to the GG. That's two changes, yeah? In contrast, if I want to change the more dispersed alignment out, I have to change at every position. Does that make sense? So in the first case, I've only got to make two changes to switch the sequence. And in the second case, I've got to make five changes to switch the sequence. So even though they're the same level of identity based on just identical position, uh, identical bases, having a, a word that matches suggests something a little bit more important than just having independent matches. Now this is really cool. This is really cool because 
we can use this as a heuristic. We can get rid of thinking about searches where every other base matches, because we don't care about that. And what we can do is we can say, let's build an index of all of the words in our queries or in our databases and find cases where we have words that match. Now, we're going to talk about this again and again because it's a common concept that we use um, in sequence searching, in database searching. But basically, um, we, we call these words that match, we call them k-mas because they're of length k. Right? They can be any length you want. And the longer the length, typically what that means is the more conservative your match is going to be, in the sense that if you say, I want to look for a word that's 500 letters long that's present and it has to be identical between two sequences, you're basically going to find things that are essentially the same organism. In contrast, if you say, I'm going to look for a word that's only four letters long, you're going to find that in every, every match, right? Because there's only um, so many possibilities of, of four letters. <coughs> 